This is day 51 in the Gaza-Israel war and I'm Yair Pinto reporting to you from Israel. Today is the third day in the Gaza-Israel ceasefire that was struck in order to release some 50 Israeli hostages in exchange for 150 Palestinian prisoners. Yesterday, the Islamist Palestinian Hamas terror organization played a dirty trick by delaying the release of the Israeli hostages it was supposed to release in the second stage of the deal, only after immense pressure from Egypt and Qatar, the Palestinians released the Israeli hostages back to their families. Despite the ceasefire in the Gaza Strip, the fighting continues and Israel, together with the United States, are tracking and striking down Iranian militias and weapon stockpiles and ammunition that are being sent to Hezbollah, to the Houthis, and to other enemies of the Jewish state in this region. In recent days, the Islamic Republic of Iran lost some 30 weapons shipments that they tried to deliver to its proxies throughout the Middle East in order to fuel this attack against the Jewish state and its ally, the United States. The Americans and the Israelis were able to locate and neutralize these weapons shipments, making it very hard for the evil coalition of Iran, Hamas, Hezbollah, the Houthis to continue their war against Israel and the United States. On Saturday morning, Islamist terrorists attempted to carry out a terror attack against the US base in the Middle East, attempting to kidnap an American soldier while carrying out a missile attack on the base. The United States called on its air force that destroyed the missile while it was in the middle of the air, then turned into scan mode, searched and destroyed the terror cells that attempted to carry out the attack. After destroying the terrorists, the US Air Force moved into search and destroy mode in the area of northern Syria, targeting Iranian bases and destroying some five airfields of the Islamic Republic of Iran, crippling their ability to transport weaponry through the sky. According to unidentified reports, some 300 terrorists were neutralized during these attacks. In another front against the Iranian proxy Houthi organization that carried out an attack against an Israeli vessel in the Persian Gulf, Houthi terrorists launched a terror attack against a U.S. aircraft carrier using 40 suicide drones and 20 missiles. The U.S. vessel was easily able to defend itself, identify and neutralize the threat and responded against the Houthis by carrying out a massive attack on Houthi locations in the area. This attack is classified so we do not have any further information. In the Gaza Strip, Hamas militants have disguised themselves as civilians while searching for additional weapons and weapon stockpiles in northern Gaza. The IDF was able to identify and neutralize the Palestinian terrorists that are violating the ceasefire. As you can see, this war is far from being over and is being fought on many arenas in the Middle East. This is a war between ideologies and not countries. This is a war between good and evil. We need your help in sharing the truth so that the international community can help Israel and the United States and our allies to fight these enemies until we defeat them and until we return our hostages back home. And most importantly, please pray for the peace of Israel and the safety of the United States and Israeli soldiers that are fighting in this region.